Hello everyone and welcome to day four of your Move With Me series. For today, I have a Pilates class for you, but with a focus on our arms and our abs. Now, for today's class, I will be using a set of one kilo hand weights, but if you don't have hand weights at home, you could always grab two bottles of water or even two cans of vegetables or bags of peas, whatever you can find at home to act as weights. But if you can't find anything at all, don't worry because you can still do the workout without the weights. I just really want you then to focus on moving with moving your arms with lots of control and lots of resistance and strength and you'll still feel it trust me okay well let's get into our warm-up so starting on your hands and your knees make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders knees are underneath your hips on your exhale round your spine gaze towards your navel then inhale, arch your spine and look slightly up. One more, exhale round, warming up our spine here. And inhale, arch. Then return to your neutral spine and just take a few circles forward and back. So shifting your weight on to your hands and then pressing back a little bit now you can make this circle bigger really sending your hips back closer towards your heels just creating a little extra movement and now reverse it take it the other way making this circle as big or as small as you like. Let's do one more. Beautiful. Return through center now, curl your toes under and let's press back into a downward facing dog. Keeping your knees bent here just for a moment Really press through your hands, press through your shoulders, finding your nice straight spine. Then start to pedal your heels, alternate bending your knees, just releasing any tension through the back of your legs. Then press both heels down into the mat, on your inhale, ripple your spine forward, finding your high plank. Then exhale, press your hips back into your downward dog. Inhale, bend your knees, hovering them off the floor. Then exhale, straighten your legs and press your heels down. Three more. Inhale, ripple your spine forward. Exhale, press back. Inhale, bend your knees, press through your shoulders. Exhale, press your heels down. Two more. Inhale, ripple your spine forward. Exhale, press back. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, straighten. One more. Inhale, really moving with your breath. And exhale. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straight. On your next inhale, ripple your spine forward. Let's lower our knees down to the floor. Then exhale, bend your elbows, lower your chest, then your chin, and then lower your hips to the floor. Let's bring our elbows. I'm just going to move those weights to the side. Let's bring our elbows underneath our shoulders, lifting our chest, coming up into our Sphinx pose. Really roll your shoulders back. Let your heart open. Taking nice deep breaths here. Let's take one last deep inhale. And exhale, release back down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, press up. Exhale, curl your toes under and press back into your downward 
facing dog. Let's walk our hands now back towards our feet, keeping a soft bend through your knees, roll your spine all the way up to standing. Keeping your feet about hip distance apart in parallel, draw your navel in and drop your tailbone. Starting with your hands at prayer, let's just squat down and up. Nice, inhale and exhale. So really important in these squats that you are shifting your weight back into your heels, sending your glutes far back behind you. Meanwhile, staying lifted through your navel, keeping your spine nice and straight. Let's add some arms to this now. So on your inhale, squat down, reach your arms forward and then take a nice breast stroke with your arms to come up. So inhale, squat down and exhale, come up. So doing a nice breaststroke swimming movement with your arms, just to get our arms nice and warm because they will be doing a little bit of work today. Let's do two more. And last one. Now hold low in your squat. Really sit those hips back, swing your arms back and forward. Nice, inhale and exhale. Keeping your arms nice and lifted, really reach through the crown of your head. Just two more. Last one. Now add a pulse with your legs, down and down, just for 10, nine, eight, feeling that heat through your arms, four more, three, two, and one. Well done. Let's come up to standing, reach your arms up, take a nice big inhale, and exhale, dive forward, taking your hands down to the mat. Let's walk our hands forward now, and step your feet back, coming into a plank position. Making sure your shoulders are over your wrists, your feet are hip distance apart. Really draw up through your navel, press through your shoulders. Let's exhale, lift our right leg, inhale lower. Exhale, lift your left leg, inhale lower. Keep going, you exhale and inhale. Really pointing through your toes. You wanna to try to keep your hips as square as you can here. Nothing else is moving, just your legs. Two more. Last one. Well done. Set your knees down, uncurl your toes, and lower yourself down onto the front side of your body. Let's come up onto our fingertips now, and on your inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, coming into your cobra. Really roll those shoulders back, lift your chin, maybe look slightly up. Take one last big inhale, and exhale, lower back down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, and let's cross our feet behind us so that we can come on to our glutes. Okay, scooting yourself forward now, sitting up nice and tall. Let's grab a hold of our weights now, if you have them, and just holding on to the back of your thighs. Take a nice inhale and exhale with control. Roll yourself vertebra by vertebra down onto your backs. Good. Once you're on your back, just let your head rest. Walk your feet in slightly so your knees are nice and bent and they are hip distance apart. Let's start by holding the weight in our left hand and take your right hand behind your head with your elbow wide to support your neck. From here, let's reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. Now we have a little bit of a combo. On your exhale, we lift our head and shoulders up, bring the left weight by your left hip. Inhale, take a bicep curl. 
then exhale, extend, and inhale, lower your head down, reach the arm up. And again, exhale, curl up. Inhale, bicep curl. Exhale, extend, and inhale, lower. Keep going. Making sure that when you lift your head and shoulders up, that you're keeping your chin slightly dropped down towards your chest to protect your neck. Good. Let's do two more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, curl up a little bit more. Inhale, lower. One more. Try to keep your shoulders as relaxed as you can. Beautiful. Now let's curl up one last time. And then from here, I want you to take baby bicep curls with that left arm. So you're just trying to really squeeze in that left bicep. And now let's add a curl up and up. Really feeling it in those abs. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ouch, you should have felt that in your abs pretty quickly. Okay, drop your weight. Place your hands down by your side, relax your shoulders. Let's imprint our spine and take our legs to a tabletop position. We're going to work our lower abs now. So on your inhale, shoot your legs out to the diagonal. Make sure your lower back stays in contact with the floor. Then exhale, pull your knees in and using your abs, lift your hips off the floor. Then inhale, shoot your legs out. Exhale, pull them in, lift your hips. Keep going, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull your knees in. Now I want you to do this movement as slowly as you can so that when you lift your hips up you're using the strength of your lower abs to pick your hips up versus using any momentum use your breath to help you inhale extend exhale pull just two more last one well done. Let's set our feet back down on the floor. Grab the weight with your right hand now and take your left hand behind your head with your elbow wide. Let's repeat that same series with the right arm now. So on your exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Inhale, bicep curl with the right arm. Exhale, extend and inhale, lower. And again. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, bicep curl. Exhale, extend, maybe lifting up a little bit higher. And inhale, lower. Keep going. Remember that you want to keep your chin slightly dropped down towards your chest. Keeping your gaze towards the top of your knees to make sure we are protecting our neck here. Really think of that rib to hip connection as you curl up. So exhale, lift up, drop your ribs down towards your hips. Good job. Let's do one more. You've got it. Beautiful. Okay, let's hold in our curl. Go back to those baby bicep curls. So you bend your right elbow in and in. So we're just trying to contract through our right bicep. It's not a big movement here. Now let's add that crunch. So we curl up and up. Whew. Nice exhale and exhale. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So good. Drop that weight. Rest your head and bring your hands back down onto the mat. Bring your legs to that tabletop position, imprinting your spine. We're going to repeat that same lower ab exercise. Now you can keep your hands on the mat 
or if you want an extra challenge, let's reach them towards our hips. On your inhale, shoot your legs out, reach your arms overhead, exhale, sweep them around, pull your knees in, lift your hips. Keep going, inhale, extend, exhale, pull them in, inhale, and exhale. Remember taking this with as much control as you can, using the strength of your abs. Make sure that you are not arching your back as you extend your legs. So really keep that lower back pressing down into the floor. Whew, let's do two more. Really breathing, inhale and exhale. Well done. Hug those knees in. And then from here, let's rock the length of our spine up to a seated position. We're going to grab a hold of those weights again. This time, sitting up nice and tall, your feet are hip distance apart, your knees are bent. Let's grab a hold of our weights and I want you to pull your elbows back and take your weights just in front of your chest with your palms facing down. Just working the arms to start. On your inhale, let's shoot the arms forward, then exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, pull the elbows back. So you inhale, extend, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, pull. Keep going, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, two more. Keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed, focusing on sitting up nice and tall. Last one. Good job. Now this time we're going to add some ab work. So on your exhale, I want you to round your spine back, tucking your pelvis under, finding your C curve. Then inhale, drop your weights. Exhale, lift. Then inhale, come back up to that straight spine. So we are reversing the breathing for this one. Exhale, round back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, come back up. Keep going, it's exhale. Inhale, exhale, and inhale. Really making sure that as you round back, that you're dropping your ribs down towards your hips, finding that engagement through your abdominals. Let's do two more. Last one. Now let's hold in our C curve, reach your arms forward, pull those shoulders back and take little lifts. Up and up, this one burns. Let's do just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. On your next inhale, lift your chest, reach your arms up. Then exhale, circle your arms around and bring them forward, returning to your C curve. And again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, circle out and around and come to your C curve. Inhale. And exhale. Really feeling the muscles in your shoulders here getting all fired up. Maybe feeling those abs too. Let's do four more. And three. And two. Last one. Now hold in your C curve. On your exhale, pull one elbow back then punch forward, other side, pull and punch. Nice, exhale and inhale. 
maybe rounding back a little bit more in that C curve, getting those abs nice and fired up. You've got it. Let's just do four more and three and two. Last one, don't hate me. Hold the arms forward, little pulses up and up. Then we get to drop them. <laughs> Let's go. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, you've got it. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Let's drop those weights and roll ourselves back down onto our back. From here, let's just press through our heels and lift our hips up for a moment to release any tension through those hip flexors. It's always nice to just take a stretch here to counteract that C curve position. Then carefully lower your hips back down. And guess what? We're gonna do a little bit more ab work. This class is arms and abs after all. Okay, imprint your spine. Let's lift our legs to a tabletop position and cross your right knee over your left. Interlace your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Another little combo. On your exhale, let's lift our head and shoulders up, finding our curl. Now inhale, lower your head, tap your toes down. Exhale, curl up, and then take a twist and come back through center. So you lower and lift, then twist and center. Good, just breathing naturally here. If the breath pattern is too much, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. We just do one more, then we'll go straight away to the other side. Here we go. Switch the crossing of your knees, other side. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, then twist and center. It's inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep going. Let's just do one more. Beautiful job. From here, let's go back into our twist. Extend your right leg and take bicycle legs for 10 and nine. Nice, exhale and exhale. Just six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. So good. Rest your head, hug your knees in. Maybe rock your spine side to side if you need to. And then let's roll on to our side now. Creating a one long line with your body. Take your bottom arm out long and rest your head on your arm. Press your fingertips into the mat in front of you and really draw your navel in, finding that core engagement. On your exhale, let's lift both legs up off the floor. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. This is a really great exercise to work the side of our waist. So when you lift your legs up, I want you to think of the movement coming from that top rib cage dropping down towards your hips. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. You've got it. Really squeeze your legs together. Just two more. And last one. Hold your legs lifted, top leg lifts and lowers. Nice, exhale and inhale. Just eight more. Really breathing, seven, keep that bottom leg lifted, six, five more, and four, three, two, and a one. Hold your legs together, let's take some scissors. You switch and switch, just eight more. 
seven, whew, six, five, feeling that burn in the side of your waist. Two more, last one, good job. Lower your legs down, you should really feel it through there. And then prop yourself up onto your forearm. So make sure that your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder, your knees are bent, and then slide them back so that they're in line with your hips. From here, take your top hand onto your hip, really lift up through the side of your waist, and we're just gonna lift our hips up and down. Nice, inhale and exhale. Trying to not rest your hips back down on the mat here. I want you to just kind of tap them to the floor and then lift them straight back up. Just four more. And three. Two. And one. Well done. Okay, guess what? From here, let's grab a hold of the weight again. Staying up on your forearm, just slide your bottom knee forward and extend your top leg out to the side, making sure that it's in line with your hip. Reach your top arm with the weight overhead. Feel free to drop the weight here completely if you want to and do the exercise without it. But from here, on your inhale, swing your leg forward as you sweep your arm back and then exhale, come back to that starting position. So inhale, sweep the leg forward, sweep the arm back. Exhale, return to starting. Keep going, inhale and exhale. Inhale, keeping that leg at the same height and keeping your arm at the same height. Beautiful. Three more. And two. Really find length through the top side of your body as you reach that arm overhead. Well done. From here, let's pull our top elbow to our top knee now. So exhale, pull. Inhale, extend just for eight and seven, six, five, you've got it, four, three, two, and a one. Well done, set that weight down, prop yourself up, keeping your feet to one side. Let's just take a quick stretch. So inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to your left. Beautiful. Okay, guess what? We get to do that on the other side. So swing your legs around. You can always just pop any weights that are lying around to the side out of your way. And let's create a one long line with our body. So your bottom arm is nice and long. Rest your head on your arm and then bring your fingertips in front of you. Make sure that you are relaxing through your shoulders and really engaging your core. On your exhale, lift your legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Just eight more like this. And six. Five. Really squeeze your thighs together. Four. And three using the side of our waist here, two. Last one, hold your legs lifted, top leg lifts and lowers. Nice, exhale and inhale. Just eight more. And seven, try to keep that bottom leg as lifted as you can. Five, four, three, two and one hold both legs lifted let's take those scissors for ten and nine eight as big as you can 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Set your legs down. You should feel nice little burn through the side of your waist. And then let's come up onto our forearm. So making sure again, your elbow is directly underneath your shoulders, your knees are bent, and they are back in line with your hips. Let's take our top hand on to our hip and we lift our hips up and lower. Nice. Inhale and exhale. Just eight more. And seven. Trying not to let your hips rest on the floor. Five more. Four, really press down through your arm. Three, two, and a one. Well done. Let's grab a hold of that weight. Extend your top leg, and then extend your top arm with the weight overhead. On your inhale, sweep the leg forward, sweep the arm back, and exhale, come back to starting. So it's inhale, we sweep, Exhale, return to starting, just eight more. So really trying to keep your leg at the same height as well as sweeping that arm back and overhead at the same height as well. Good job. I think we have four more. And three. Try to stay lifted through the side of your waist. Last one. Good job. Now pull elbow to knee and extend. Nice. Exhale and inhale. Each time that you extend, try to find a little bit more length through the side of your body. Five more. And four. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's set that weight down. Prop yourself up onto your side for your mermaid stretch. So inhale, reach your left arm up, and exhale, side bend over your legs. Taking your gaze up to the ceiling, if that feels good for you, or maybe just closing your eyes. Beautiful job, everyone. Okay, from here, let's come to our hands and our knees. Curl your toes under and press back into a well-deserved downward dog. Maybe take a moment here to pedal your heels, alternate bending your knees, as well as releasing any tension through that lower back. Then very carefully, walk your hands back towards your feet and roll your spine up to standing. Okay, guess what? We've only got one little exercise, little exercise, maybe not quite, but only one more part left that we are using our weights for. So grab a hold of your weights and then standing in the middle of your mat with your feet hip distance apart and your knees bent, really draw your navel in, drop your tailbone. We're gonna start with our elbows by our waistline and our palms facing up. So really roll those shoulders down and back, keeping your chest lifted. On your inhale, let's open our hands out and exhale, close in. So you inhale, open, exhale, close. Now make sure that when you open your arms out that you're not flaring or arching through your body, you wanna keep your core nice and contracted and think of more so engaging the muscles in your back to open your arms out. So if I turn this way, I want you to feel like your shoulder blades are drawing in towards each other as you open your arms out. So this movement is coming more so from our back muscles than our arms. Let's do two more. And last one, hold your hands out. This time, 
Inhale, shoot your arms out at the diagonal and then exhale, pull them in. So inhale, extend, exhale, pull. To make it a little bit more challenging, you can take them a little bit more out to the side, then forward. Good. We just have five more. Maybe speeding it up a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold those arms out. Take little circles for me. Four, ten, <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ouch. Let's slide our arms forward now and out. Nice. Inhale and exhale. Really breathe. Inhale and exhale. Just seven more. You've got it. Keep a soft bend through your arms for me. Five more. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold your arms forward and take little flips for me. Down and up. Ouch. Down and up. Just eight more. Keep a soft bend through your elbows. Soft bend through your knees. And four more. Three. Two. And a one. So good. Flip your palms down and then hinge forward, letting your arms just hang for a moment. So bend your knees. Make sure you have a nice straight spine and really draw your navel in. From here, pull your shoulder, shoulders back, really drawing your shoulder blades together. Then open your arms on your exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. Just eight more. Keeping that soft bend through your elbows. And six. You've got it. Keeping your gaze towards the top edge of your mat. Four more. Three. Two. And a one, so good. Keep your palms facing back. Let's lift our arms back behind us. Really roll those shoulders back. Shoulders back. And let's lower the arms and lift. I'm really sorry, I don't seem to be able to talk very well today. So we lower and lift. Just five more. Breathe, nice inhale and exhale. Three more. Two, really burning the back of our arms. Last one, hold your arms lifted, take little pulses, you just lift and lift. Just eight more, seven, you got it, then we drop the weights. Five, four, three, two, and one. So good, pop your weights to the side. You'll be happy to know that we don't need them anymore. And guess what? We have our final little exercise. So come to a squat position. Your feet are slightly wider than hip distance. Toes are turned out. Let's take our hands behind our head with our elbows wide. And we squat down, transfer your weight to your right foot, and then pull opposite elbow to opposite knee. Just starting with one side. So you have inhale, and then exhale, twist. Good. Making sure that when you come into your squat, that you're sending your hips far back behind you, weight into your heels. Let's do two more. Last one. Now let's hold here and just pull elbow to knee. You pull and pull. Keep a strong supporting leg, so nice bent leg and really breathe, exhale and exhale, getting those abs nice and fired up, if they're not already. <laughs> Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one, you guessed it, either side. You inhale, press up to the left, pull elbow to knee, and back to center, you squat. Lift, pull, and center. Squat, lift, pull, and center. Good, really getting into our obliques as you pull opposite elbow to opposite knee. Let's do three more. Really breathe. Two, that was a bit of a whistle there. Last one. Good, now just pull elbow to knee nice and fast. You pull and pull, breathe, exhale and exhale. Keeping that supporting leg nice and strong. You've got it, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now just pull opposite elbow to opposite knee, alternating knees. This is where we finish class. So really keep your energy levels up. You've got it, nice, pull and pull. Let's do eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Shake it out, have a sip of water if you need to, and then when you are ready to stretch it out, let's come to the back edge of our mat, standing up nice and tall. Just take a moment to reconnect back into your body and back into your breath. So just stand here for a moment with your palms facing forward, close your eyes and take nice deep breaths. So nice inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. One more, just like that, inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Then exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, open your chest, look up, really expand through your heart center. And exhale, keeping your knees bent, let's dive forward into our forward fold. Letting your arms just fall back behind you, feeling a nice stretch for your shoulders. Let your body just hang here, close your eyes, bringing your awareness back into your breath. Then release your hands down to the mat and carefully walk your hands forward, coming into a plank position. Lower your knees, then your chest and your chin and then lower your hips to the floor, roll your shoulders back and lift up into a cobra. Then roll your shoulders back, open through your heart center. Take one last big inhale and exhale, release back down. Now we did a lot of shoulder work, so let's stretch out our shoulders. Extend your left arm out in line with your shoulder with your palm facing down and then bend your right elbow and press your right palm into the mat. Pressing through your right hand, I want you to shift your weight onto your left hip, bringing your left cheek onto the floor and then reach that right foot back towards the floor. So you feel a really nice stretch for your left shoulder. Just let your head rest on the mat here. Take nice deep breaths. Then carefully come back through center. Let's switch sides. So extend your right arm out in line with your shoulder, palm faces down. Turn onto your right cheek and box out your left arm and then push with your left hand into the floor to roll on to that right shoulder. Close your eyes here. It's breathing into this twist and this well-deserved stretch for your shoulder.
Then carefully come back through center. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up. Cross your feet behind you. And let's shift our weight onto our glutes. Coming into the middle of your mat, let's extend our left leg out to the side, bending our right knee. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And exhale, side bend over to your left. Taking your gaze up to the ceiling if that feels good for you. Or maybe just closing your eyes. Feeling a nice release through the right side of your body. Then carefully come back up. Let's switch sides. Extend your right leg out. Bend your left knee in. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend to the right. Really reaching through your fingertips here, finding length through the side of your body. And carefully come back up. Cross your legs, finding a comfortable cross-legged position. And then take your fingertips onto the mat next to you. Let's just drop our left ear to our left shoulder. And as you do that, try to reach your right fingertips a little bit further away from your body. So you feel a really nice stretch through the side of your neck. Good. Come back through center. Other side, let's drop our right ear to our right shoulder and then walk your left fingertips a little bit further away from your body so you feel a nice stretch through the side of your neck. Good, carefully come back through center. Open your eyes if they were closed. Take one big inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's arms and abs workout and that you have been enjoying the Move With Me series so far. Have the most beautiful day ahead and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day five. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel.